my gosh. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? The real grade crossbone Gundam. Which is extremely, extremely small, and I'm surprised that I didn't lose parts. Um, here it is. I bought a stand for it. He's so happy. So here's the little base figure. Here he is. He looks like he's about to punch someone in the nose. That or, like, blast someone or something. I don't know. Anyways... Articulation on this guy is good, but everything is very tight. That may be a good thing, that may be a bad thing. Time will tell. Um, for instance, the shoulders. Ooh! I'm putting a good bit of force into that. I mean, like... Maybe it's just my weak baby hands, I don't know. You get full rotation at the bicep. You get a beautiful bend at the arm. It's a little sideways. There you go. Look at that. That's fantastic. The head is standard stuff, if you ask me. You can go up, and you can see it opens up the little jaw. <laughs> He's got a jaw like an Ava unit. Except I don't think he eats people or things. That can close, it can look down, it can go all the way around. All that fun, you know, mess. Arm can go out that far. It's not very far. It can go up that far, it can go down that far. The butt skirts move the jet pack. So I'm going to go, no, it's not a jetpack, it's a core fetter. Yeah, shut up. These can flip all around because they're on a ball joint. This is on a ball joint, both of them. This folds out. This comes under. They both do this. Believe you me. And that is for an accessory, which we will get into later. There's a lot of accessories with this, which is why I've kind of put this off for a little bit. Um, the kick to the front is fantastic, frankly. The kick to the back, beautiful. The knee bend, decent. But I mean, it's about as good as you're gonna get. Ankle pivots. The toe can bend separately. Ankle can move almost all the way around, all the way around, I guess, if you're not afraid of possibly breaking it. Um, <laughs> then we have the abdomen, which can move up that far and down that far. And as you can see, it can open and show the core fighter, the nose of the core fighter that's in there. And if you're really strong, you can just rip it out. And there he is. You just fold out the nose. And I think that looks pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Look at that. It's pretty. I like it. And all of these little thrusters can be moved to your liking. You get this beam rifle, which kind of looks like a musket. See that? See that? The cool thing about it is you can take it apart. And this part turns. Now it's a little pistol for him to carry around and shoot people with. And this turns into a beam beam cutlass look at how cool that that these are probably the best beam effects that i've ever seen on a kit i mean it it looks good it looks good it does look good anyways that's a beam cutlass right there beautiful who cares here You've got a little beam effect, and you can either put the shield 
in it. If you have watched F91, you would know that that's what it looks like. So I think they come from the same universe. And then you get this little smaller effect part that can go in. Kind of looks like a, I don't know, laser beam being, being shot. And you get two of those. Now, you get two little blades. You might be asking yourself, oh, well, what do I attach these blades to? Well, if you look in the back here, you can pull this out in the calf. If you've got good nails and you don't have a ton of caffeine in your system and your hands are shaky. There we go. Got it. And you just put this into... to there like that. Look at that. It's a blade. Cut people with it. And you get two of those as well. Now you also get these two chains. I don't know if you can see that very well. That is for the front skirt effect, which I will show you later, I promise. I might even show it right now. I'll just have it cut. Um... <laughs> You get two beam sabers, standard stuff. You get one, two, three. You get four little replacement hand guards. That's so if you lose one because they're so small, you can just transplant it. You get a pair of fists. You get a pair of, they look like shooting hands to me, but they're probably for holding beam sabers or something because I couldn't get the gun into his fist like that and then you have a singular open fist and and these two pieces for the aforementioned um, chain I almost forgot one of the most important parts it's kind of my favorite part it's the cloak look at how cool that looks right and watch this you take his head off, you stick that on, and it should slot into place, go, and then you just stick the, the head back on. Now he has a cloak, very reminiscent of a uh, black, blah, 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 black swordsman, if you catch my cold. Get it? kind of does it looks cool i like it but yeah i thought i thought that was a very cool touch I, it's pretty good you know see you guys in another month